Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So, we are looking at IIR filter structures and their implementation. We have seen various forms such as the direct form 1, direct form 2, direct form 1 transpose and direct form 2 transpose. Let us now look at several examples to understand this, uh, the implementation, okay. So, we want to look at FIR filter structures, oh, I am sorry, IIR filter structures. and uh, consider and we want to do an example problem to understand this better. So, what we want to do is let us consider this example where we have our H z equals uh, 1 minus half z inverse over 1 minus 7 by 8 z inverse plus 3 by 32 z raise to minus 2. So, this implies we look at this our numerator polynomial is p z which is 1 I am sorry this is 1 minus minus half z inverse and d z equals 1 minus 7 by 8 3 by 32 z raise to minus 2. Uh, so, now if you look at P z, now what you can see is this implies basically that P naught equals 1 and p 1 equals minus half and if you look at the d z polynomial you can see this implies that well d naught is 1, uh, d 1 equals minus 7 by 8 coefficient of z inverse and d 2 equals 3 by 32. And we can now develop the several representations remember we have seen 4 representations d f 1 direct form 1 direct form 2 direct form 1 transpose and direct form 2 transpose and let us now develop the structure for each of these different realizations. Okay. So, we have d f 1, d f 2. Okay. So, our d f 1 direct form 1 will be as follows that will be you have x n fed to an adder and uh, you will have z inverse and this will go to the gain of minus half and come into this adder this will be x n minus half uh, x n minus 1 that will be given uh, that will be w n remember this is the d f 1 the output of this goes through another adder finally, you have y n and uh, you have the branch here that goes through z inverse and the gain here is minus d 1 that is 7 by 8. Further you have another delay and this goes through another gain that is and here you have another adder and this will be minus. So, we have minus d 1 and then we have minus d 2. Okay. So, and this will be your d f 1 realization corresponding to the uh, system above. and this is your w n. Okay. And now, we want to develop the so this is basically your d f 1 the direct form 1 realization for the given example of the transfer function. Okay. Now, let us look at the direct form 2 direct form 2 remember again is obtained by 
uh, interchanging the branches and then merging the common delays in this case, all right, in the case of the direct, uh, in case of the uh, normal realization, okay. So, we have the direct form 2, the DF2 realization and that is given as follows. So, we have Xn Remember the delays in this are along the central path. So, this will be z inverse minus this is uh, minus uh, this is just p 1 that is your minus half correct and this will go as input to the adder and on the other side you have minus d 1 that is minus 7 by 8. So, this will be uh, added to x n and then you have another delay here and you have you have another delay here and you have the corresponding gain minus 3 by 32. Uh, I am sorry, this will only be 7 by 8, this is minus d 1, this is minus d 2 and this will be fed to the adder above, all right. And this is basically, you can see you have 3 adders and uh, 2 delays. So, this is, so this the d f 1 has uh, 3 adders and 3 delays. And this you can see the d f 2 realization has 3 adders, but only 2 delays. This has 3 adders and only 2 delays. So, you can see it results in a significant saving because delays are typically difficult to implement. So, this results in a uh, saving of 1 delay element. Okay. And now, let us look at the transpose versions. So, we have the d f 1 transpose d f 1 transpose we have again let us say you have your x n that will be you have the adder element and the adder followed by this. So, let me just make a little room here. So, you have x n adder uh, and uh, then you have to pass it through the gain stage. So, this is a delay and here you have the gain stage and the gain in this case remember this will be minus d 1 that is 7 by 8 and that is also passed through another gain stage uh, that will be. So, here you have an addition and that will be passed through and here you have another delay and another gain stage that corresponds to minus d 2 that is minus 3 over 32 and this will be here. Okay. And uh, therefore, what you have 
and then this is your W n all right and uh, this is now passed through another gain stage that is uh, there is an adder here and you have Y n and you have another delay element here. This will be just draw it a little bit more. and this will be minus half okay and uh, therefore this is your transpose and this can also you can also see that this also has three adders plus three three adders plus three delay elements so you can also see this also has three adders and three delay elements and now finally, let us see the direct form 2 transpose which is obtained by interchanging the branches in the direct form 1 transpose and then merging the adder sign as well as the delay elements. So, we have the df2 transpose which can be derived as xn adder that gives y n ok z inverse and uh, you have here another adder and from here what you have you have the gain this is minus d 1 7 by 8 and uh, this gain here this gain here is minus half uh, that is your p1 and finally you have here z inverse i'm sorry this has to be just slightly corrected this has to be your so the gain stages are given to the adder ok and uh, this has the gain 7 by 8 and the gain minus half and finally, what I have over here is I have another delay element z inverse and I have another gain that is minus 3 by 32 and I have over here correct and uh, this is your gain. So, this is minus d 1 minus d 2 is minus 3 by sorry 32 minus 3 by 32 and uh, yeah so this is minus half z inverse is adder is minus 3 by 32 and this is your uh, df2 transpose form and you can see this has the fewest number this has two adders plus two delays okay so this has the minimum the, this has the representation that gives the minimum number of adders and delay. So, let me just briefly check this. So, I have my d f 1 minus half 7 by 8 minus 3 by 32 that is correct. This is 7 by d f 2 minus 7 by 8 minus half minus 3 by 32 that is the d f 1 transpose which is 7 by 8 minus 3 by 32 minus half and then finally, the d of 2 transpose which is minus half 7 by 8 minus 3 by 32 and that also seems correct. Okay. So, we have four representations the direct forms all right because here the coefficients are directly given in terms of the coefficients of the actual polynomials all right. So, you have the direct form direct form 1 direct form 2 
direct from one transpose direct from two transpose direct from one transpose has the minimum number of delay elements direct from two trans uh, direct I am sorry direct from two has the minimum number of delay elements direct from two transpose has the minimum number of adders as well as delay elements. Right. And we have seen an example, we have also de demonstrated in the previous modules, we have also seen the theory to derive these structures and now we also demonstrated the construction of these structures uh, using a practical exam. All right. So, let us stop here and we will look at other forms, other IR structures in the subsequent modules. Thank you very much.